Hello everyone, today we're going to look at configuration rules and revenue lifecycle management. First, we're going to look at what configuration rules are available in revenue lifecycle management, and then we'll go into a demo of building a configuration rule and testing it out in the transaction line editor. All right, so what are configuration rules in RLM? Configuration rules are rules that you can apply to either bundles or products within the transaction line editor. You'll have a couple different actions that are available. So if the target, if what you're targeting is the bundle, you can either auto add products, auto remove, you can validate, you can set attribute values, set the quantity of separate products. You can require products or exclude products, depending on the type of action you're going to select within your configuration rule. If what you're targeting is product scope, so within the transaction line editor, not within a specific bundle, then you can either validate, you can set attribute values or set quantities. Let's look at a couple of these actions in details. All right, auto add and auto remove products. While it's pretty explicit, it works. It allows you to either add or remove product based on other selections that you make within your bundle. Additionally, auto added products can be locked so they cannot be removed going forward by the user. Let's have a look at Salesforce and see what it looks like. All right, in Salesforce, I've got my bundle already added to my quote, the model tree. I go in, it configure. So the first one we'll look at is auto add and auto remove as I was saying. So if I select first my 18 inch wheels, and then I go in and select full self-driving, we'll see a couple actions. So the 18 inch wheels are gonna be removed and the 19 inch are gonna be automatically added and they're gonna be locked so you can't remove them afterward. So I select full self-driving, the actions take place. You see the quote got updated, 18 inch wheels are unchecked, 19 inch wheels are checked and also it's grayed out so I can't remove it. We also get a message at the top of the configurator, 19 inch wheels are required with full self driving. So that's what it looks like in the configuration for auto add and auto remove. Let's look at the next one. All right, one other action that's available is require and exclude. So we'll group those together because they behave similarly. So it lets you either require products or exclude products based on other selections, right? So they are not automatically added or removed, but you'll get a warning message or you won't be able to save depending on the message type that you select once you set up those rules. So either require or exclude, you have different message types that you can surface to the user as they're configuring. So it can either be an error message, so it's gonna highlight your product in red, and it's not gonna allow you to save the bundle. The other option is warning, which is gonna highlight the product that's erroring in yellow, but it is gonna let you save your bundle and get back to it, but you won't be able to create your order as long as there's a warning on your bundle. And then informational, will not highlight the product that's giving you an error, but it will give the user a message at the top of the configuration screen. Go back into Salesforce and have a look. All right, so back in Salesforce, within our configurator, let's scroll down. Let's first select the wall connector. All right, we already get this highlighted with an error. If we scroll back to the top, we'll see that message details, roof rack is requ required when the wall connector is selected. All right, so if I go down and I select the roof rack, here we go, now the error is gone. So that was a warning message, right? So it was highlighted in yellow, I could still save my bundle and get out of there despite the error, but I was not blocked within the configurator. The other option, we'll see if I, if I select the mobile connector. Now I'm highlighted in red. I see that save and exit is not available anymore. I'm locked within my configuration screen if I don't uncheck this. If I wanna get out, I'll have to uncheck now I can save and exit because the error is gone. All right, the next one we wanna look at is how you can use configuration rules to set quantity within your bundles or quote lines. All right, back in Salesforce, here's how set quantity behaves within a bundle, right? So I've got my wall connector selected, quantity is currently one. We've got a rule that's set up that sets the wall connector quantity to tree if the roof rack is selected. Does it make sense? Not really, but it's useful for our example here. Model tree roof rack, I select it. All right, now I've got quantity of tree set up on there. All right, so these were a couple of pre-built pre examples. Let's now jump into building one ourselves. All right, so from the product catalog management homepage, if we look at product configuration rules at the bottom, click through on this, that's gonna show us a list of the currently active product configuration rules. All right, so everyone that we just looked at is active on there. Now we're gonna create a new one for a different product. Let's hit new. All right, let's give our rule a name. All right, so the rule that we'll build is gonna be to auto add and auto remove wheels the same way we added them in the model tree, but let's do it for the model X this time around. 
you have to set a start date and time. So just set something in the past. No end date status will set to active right away. Now, once it's active, you won't be able to modify it. Now it's not saved, so it's fine. And we have to assign a sequence for the configuration rules. So let's set it to eight because we have a couple of ones already running. Hit next. All right, in the scope detail section of your configuration rule, you want to set the rule scope to bundle because we want this to act within a bundle. We'll select the model X as our product. Then the conditions for the configuration rule to trigger. So what we're saying is if product equals full self-driving. So the rule we're, we're building is if, same thing as the model tree rule, right? So if full self-driving is selected, we want to remove the standard wheels and automatically add the upgraded wheels. So we want to auto add the 22 inch turbine wheels. And now on the right hand side, you can see we have the option to lock. So if it's locked, the option becomes grayed out and you can't remove it afterwards. So let's do that. Let's add one more action. We also want to auto remove the 20 inch wheels that are going to be pre-selected on our bundle. And now you can add a message to well, either both or one of your actions on there. So let's add it on top. The type message type is informational and the message is going to be 22 inch wheels required with full self driving. All right, now that we've got all our actions set up, let's hit save. All right, so our rule is created. It's already active because we set it to active. We can see it on our list view of configuration. Let's go back to our quote and test this out. All right, back to our quote. We've got the Model X added already to this quote. Let's go to the right hand side, hit configure. Once the configuration opens up, we're going to first select the 20 inch wheels. And then from our configuration rule setup, the expectation is once we select full self driving, that 20 inch wheels are going to get automatically removed. The 22 inch wheels are going to get automatically added onto our quote. So let's hit full self driving. All right, there we go. 20 inch wheels are removed, the 22 inch wheels are added on to our quote as expected. So that was how we build a simple configuration rules within revenue lifecycle management. All right, thanks for watching. This was configuration rules in revenue lifecycle management. Please subscribe if you like the content to keep following. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.